Hey guys! Today we're going to make ordinary rocks and aluminium foil look like iridescent crystals or minerals using a simple and cheap trick. All you will need is clear nail polish and water. So let's get right into it! Did you know that when a drop of clear nail polish hits water, this happens? A very thin film is created that reflects the light on its top and its bottom surface. Those reflected light waves interfere with each other and what we see is called iridescence. You've probably also seen iridescence on oil films, feathers, seashells, soap bubbles and more. You can transfer this film onto black paper for example. The film is quite fragile when it's wet, so try not to touch it until it has dried. No touchy! No touchy! Is it just me or does this look like an idyllic landscape? Anyways, this is already great, but I wanted to know more, like does it have to be black paper? After some experiments my conclusion is, other colors work too, but the rainbows stand out the most on dark colors. More experiments included sandpaper and craft foam, which is actually my favorite. But I wanted to make crystals, so I wondered, what if you dip rocks in this magical water? After some tests I got the best results when I used rocks with a lot of texture. You can also paint the rocks with acrylic paint, especially if you're using brightly colored rocks. I believe that smaller drops of nail polish make nicer rainbows, so you may have to be patient for it to drop. Ooh, that one was worth it. Look for a nice spot in the rainbow and carefully lift the rock into the film from below. It's like magical cling film. Then leave it to dry. As you can see, not much has changed where the stone is flat, but on the textured side it looks great. If you can't find any rocks, you can also crumple up some aluminium foil and make it look like a rock. I'm trying to keep the foil quite rough, because the iridescent film shows best on bigger gaps. I like to give it a coat of black acrylic paint first. And once that has dried, I add some color to make it more interesting. Make sure the paint is completely dry before you dip the fake rock. This rainbow was a bit faint and I also picked a boring spot in the film, so it didn't look super rainbowy in the end. So I just dipped it again on the other side. Now that looks more promising. You can remove any excess film once it has dried. And this is the result. I hope you found this as mesmerizing as I did and maybe you'll try it out for yourself. Also, thank you so much for 20,000 subscribers! You guys are awesome! Stay curious and creative!